possibility of alien contamination, but not without proof. <laughs> you provide that for me, and then we'll talk about breaking a seal. I'm not sure it's... Uh... <coughs> he trusts you. Yeah, I know. Uh, dangerous decision. It's, it's big. and uh, you should know that we intend to make a formal request to ground to test a sample. Well, I'm sorry that you see things that way. But as long as I'm commanding this mission, it'll be me who makes the command decisions. <laughs> By all the operational rules you love so much, Hiromi should have never been given permission to leave the hab. Attention. Solar monitor confirms flare eruption. Central, predict magnitude. <coughs> X-20. We have less than an hour before the proton storm reaches us. Let's prep for safe mode. <laughs> Houston, Terra Nova. We are just a few minutes away here from safing the communications. The coronal mass ejection should be on us in a day or so. But the proton storm, it's moving much faster. And we estimate that it will reach us in approximately 30 minutes. <laughs> but everything should be buttoned up by then, and we will be safely in our cabins. We will contact you in a day or two, or when possible. Terra Nova out. <coughs> I thought you could use a friend. I just wanted to explain. with what they said about your own me. Well, I'm the commander and he died, so there's no way around that. You can't be responsible for everything, Rick. He's not all alone. doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah. You're not alone.
cars down, trying to identify the source of the problem. All right. <laughs> Secondary bus is offline throughout the vehicle. <coughs> Clan uh, is working on it, but every every system we shut down for safe mode <coughs> will not start up again. Nothing happened. I know. You're a good cosmonaut. Hey, hey, I need some help here. You all right? Lucia, come on. Put him on the bed. Antoine, what's the status on that power? I'm just about to make the last connection. One. Three. Well, stay on it. We need that power back. I'm on it. Detector said there are no combustion byproducts. No smoke at all. We, we must be getting false readouts. It's not Mars that's killing us. It's our own technology. So, every time a board failed, the master system reset to a default mode with a standard date. January 26, 2030 the day you left Earth orbit. Whatever the monitors picked up, it didn't matter, because the only readings that were ever reported were the ones from launch day. Sorry again, guys, but we're on to it, and we'll get back to you soon. Houston out. New code from ground uploaded and installed. Good, Scrubbers. Working again. It is carbon monoxide. We still need to find the source of this CO. I'm gonna start with the flight deck and <coughs> want you both to work with ground and make sure we're not faced with any other surprises. On to that. What have you found? Uh, the wiring to and from the fan has been overheating. Look. Uh, of course. And if these wire burns occurred, there could be others. All releasing carbon monoxide. That the faulty sensors never picked up on. 
A few more hours and that seal would have killed us all. Mount Fuji. Mm. Home of the gods. Oh, I forgot. You do not believe, huh? <laughs> Maybe uh, just a little, huh? Maybe we could, uh... Maybe we could climb it together someday. Hmm? Put this stone back for Hiromi. Hmm? Poor Hiromi. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. <clears throat> Status report, August 20, 2031. And I'm happy to say that there is nothing much to report compared to the first 14 months of this mission. The last five have been practically a vacation. All systems are running smoothly. The crew is happy and healthy. And in just 12 days, we will finally be home. Commander Richard Irwin, out. Rick, Antoine, I'm on the fly deck. Could you come down? I've checked and double-checked the bypass. Seems there's a problem with the supply module. It's not giving me any response from the entails. Tension all crew, prep for spin-down. I'm coming up on the electrical supply module. Here it is. That's where arm two hit. That's the problem. The dent from the arm collision has turned into a crack, possibly as a result of extreme temperature variations. When the time comes to fire the engines, we may not be able to initiate the burn. And the return capsule might not survive a re-entry. Well, the propulsion module is a high radiation environment. We can't do an EVA anywhere near it. Yeah. Well, it's not as if we have much choice. The cabin doors, they're lined. Couldn't we use them as a radiation shield? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, you and I can get to work on that. Well, Jackie and Mikhail figure out a way to attach them to the arm. Antoine zero in on those boards. We have only one chance to get this right. All right. Copy that. This will fit through the airlock and make a good radiation shield. But we'll need two of them. I'll take down mine. The shield is locked in position now. Rick Antoine. You are go for egress. Copy that. We're opening the hatch. We're both out. Proceeding toward the truss. We have you now on video. No need to rush. Mikhail, confirm time remaining. You're making good time. You have five hours to go. I'm watching your dosimeter. I'll let you know exactly when you're at your limit. 